Hi my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Essence. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a sleek ponytail tutorial on natural hair. So if you're interested in getting this look, definitely keep on watching. So we're starting off with our product list and items that you'll need. Each item can be found at your local beauty supply store. And now we're going in with our hair tools. And lastly, our ponytail. So I'm using a Yaki straight ponytail. So I'm sectioning off my hair and we're gonna go in with our first blow dry. The sections don't need to be perfect. It's the second blow dry that matters a bit more. So as you guys can see, I split the piece I split my hair um, into two sections on the front and I'm going to thoroughly blow dry each section. The goal is to get our hair as straight as we possibly can with the blow dryer. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just take your time and be thorough with this. You want to get it to a point where you're, easy, you're able to uh, easily glide the comb through your hair. Now that I've blow dried thoroughly, I'm just going to tie a section. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. And because we're not doing a silk press or we're not looking to have this be a style that we're wearing down, when you're pressing out your hair, it does not need to be perfect. We just need it to be straight or sleek enough so that we can do our ponytail. So don't worry about it being like silky straight. We just need to press it out. So I did go through each piece with one or two passes and I'm using my tail comb to guide each section. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our parts. So the rule of thumb for me is creating basically like a C, a C shape. And I'm starting at the highest point of my eyebrow. That's typically how I like to gauge the part. Now it all depends on, of course, your face shape, your hairline, but I would say, take a look at your the top of your eyebrow, the, part where it's at the highest so the arch and use that as a guide for your side part and I find the curved side part to look so much more flattering I've done the straight one many times in the past but this curved one really takes your ponytail to the next level so take your time with your part and just to help guide you as well go all around your hair in that C shape so you're basically creating a semicircle with the part and just remember that there is one side of your hair where the part won't actually show so once we're done this it's going to be almost a half c Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair. Shine and jam as well, just to push back any of the pieces so I can see the part more clear. And you wanna make sure that you're tying your ponytail low, but not too low. If you tie your hair too low, you're going to hurt the nape of your head. So the very back of your head, that bottom part is going to hurt. So don't tie it too low, but low enough where it's still a low ponytail. So just gauge where you want to put your ponytail, make sure it's centered, and go ahead with a hair tie that doesn't have any metal around it, and just continue tying it. Make sure it's not too tight, you don't wanna give yourself a headache either. So now that I'm happy with how it's tied, I'm going in with Shine and Jam. Now, we, us naturals know that Shine and Jam will not hold your hair. Shine and Jam alone will not hold your hair. But I am using this to mold my hair into the hairstyle that I'm trying to do. So I'm starting off with the side swoop. Now I think it's best to section off this part. If you have thicker hair, you can do three sections. I did two sections. And we're gonna start with the section closest to our face and just try to get that curve that we're creating similar to the curve of the side part. So take your time with this. It's going to take a while. Just take your time with it. Make sure you like it, keep on molding it. If you find this shine and jam starts to stiffen or make your hair slightly hard, you can go over it and spray a little bit of got to be just a little bit. It's going to help smooth everything out again and make it easy to work with. going back and forth between different edge brushes as well as my tail comb for the back since that part's a bit thicker so just rotate your hair tools you want to use an edge control brush that does not have product on it as well just so um, while you're doing your swoop you're not adding additional product so just go back and forth between your tools take your time with this because this is the most important part and this the neatness of this is what's going to make the hairstyle last as well as just look appealing.
Once I've gotten the mold of the hairstyle, I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of Edge Booster as well as the Got To Be. So just a little bit of each. I'm working diligently and taking my time with this. Once I'm happy with the mold, I'm using another hair tie to gather up my hair towards the side of my head that has the most amount of hair. I'm using a hair tie to tie that into the rest of the ponytail. I'm now gonna start on the side of my hair where the part is. I like to put these little like lines or waves, whatever you wanna call it in my hair. I just feel like it elevates the hairstyle, makes it look a little bit more clean, makes your edges look fuller and neater. So I like to go in with the tail comb. And as you guys can see, I'm just combing and separating it using the tail comb just to create little waves at the side of my hair. Then I'm gonna go in with my edge brush and just lay down my sideburns. Once I'm happy with everything, I'm gonna go ahead with my silk scarf and tie down my hair. I'm also using another hair tie to tie the actual, my actual ponytail to the silk scarf. So the silk scarf is being tied to the ponytail, my own ponytail that I created in the back. It just helps to smooth out everything from front to back. So you're tying the silk scarf and then you're using a hair tie to tie down the back as well.
the longer you're able to set the hairstyle the better so just do something else in the meantime that's typically what i do now we're going to go ahead and work on our ponytail now that the self scarf is off so this ponytail it's basically very easy to use because there's little combs in it There's already a piece section off on this ponytail to use as that wraparound piece to make the um, ponytail just look neater and hide the demarcation between your hair and the actual ponytail itself. So I'm wrapping it around and I'm using Eco Styler Gel to make it a little bit um, just easier to work with and it also makes it look a lot more sleek. That is the only thing I'm using Eco Styler for, nothing else. So I'm using Eco Styler. I'm also using Got To Be as well just to solidify and set everything. Then you're gonna grab your bobby pin just to make sure it stays in place. Once that's done, I'm going to cut the ends of the ponytail. I want it to be more of a blunt cut. I'm going to use my straightener to press on that wraparound piece just to make sure everything really is set in place. I'll use my straightener just to create little, little waves and little curls at the bottom. I just like how it looks just at the very end. And that completes the hairstyle. So this is my sleek low ponytail on natural hair type 4 hair if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely give me a huge thumbs up and comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye